Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking to you about DayZ and kind of the future of it, where it stands with me, and how I think it's going to be turning out over the next six to seven months, something like that. Because the creator of DayZ, Dean Hall, or also known as Brocket in air quotes, um, is going to be stepping down as one of the kind of the lead developers kind of knowledge push behind DayZ as we know it. Now quoting Dean, he said, I have a specific use. I'm really good at risk taking and making other people take risks. I've always been good at that in my life. Maybe I've got the gift of the gab so I can talk, I can explain something, I can talk people to the ledge and get them to jump off of it. He goes on to say, eventually that's the bad person to have. Eventually you don't want the guy telling you to go over the top and get through. So at some point I'll be a disaster for the project, at least in leadership role. Originally Dean Hall didn't even want to be around for the 2014 development of Daisy but he claimed it would be stupid not to and it would be unfair to the community. So he said that he was going to continue on with the project until he wasn't really needed and he didn't really need to be involved all that much anymore, but he also said that he will always be involved in the development of DayZ. After that, he made a few statements that kind of rubbed me the wrong way, so I'm kind of leaning towards it being a good riddance rather than, oh my god, we're losing the lead developer, because he said things like, DayZ is fundamentally flawed, it's not the perfect game. It's not the multiplayer experience, and it never can be, with the absolute spark that he wanted in it. Now saying that, it sounds like he's getting out while the getting's good, because the game's not going in the direction that it should be going. Now, a lot of people can say that this is actually Dean's fault. I personally think that it is his fault, and he should be leaving, and leaving it to people that actually know what they're doing. It started out as a mod. Great. You're good at making a mod, but you're not good at producing and kind of reviving what was left of the mod and bringing it to a new platform and setting it on the pedestal for people to actually want to purchase it. I think the main problem is, and he said it himself, is that he's the kind of guy that pushes the boundaries and keeps taking it higher and higher and higher and higher. Now when you do that, you start to forget the little things that make the game perfect, such as tents, vehicles, things of that nature, which are just completely missing from the game as we know it, and they don't really seem to be working on it all that much. They're focusing on really minute details, bringing in new things that people don't really necessarily expect or even care to have in the game, such as spray painting your gun. Not really necessary. I would, I would much rather be able to set up a campfire and cook meat from an animal I killed. But for the time being, animals aren't in the game and campfires aren't in the game. Now saying this, Dean actually said that he... I'll just quote what he said. He said, For me, there'll be a time when my full-on involvement is finished and I think a lot of fans will agree with that. And I personally do. I think he's pretty much useless at this point. He's trying to push the boundary too far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Let me know if you think Dean's kind of useless now and he's not really there to provide much that we really want and need within DayZ. It's kind of at the point where they need to build on what's already there. It's honestly what should have started from the beginning. They should have worked on the fundamentals of what DayZ the mod was and then started branching off on top of that. He started doing it backwards and I think that's what kind of ruined the game for me and I'm not going to be personally playing it anymore until I see it start stepping in the right direction. There's way too many things wrong with the game from zombies running through the walls, uh, items not spawning, the game's just laggy, unrecordable, I can't record the game in higher than 14 FPS because it's just not optimized. There's just so many things wrong with it they're not focusing on that absolutely need to be done before a game can be considered out of alpha. And most games don't spend all that much time in alpha. Daisy, I can see being an alpha up until 2015 at least. The main thing that rubs me wrong about this whole thing is that a lot of people give Dean a lot of credit and he doesn't really do all that much. He kind of ruined the game that he created. Now saying that, you might be saying, Joe, that's stupid. How can you ruin something that you, you created? And honestly, he did because he kept trying to push and push and push. I've already said this, but once you take something that's nice and you push it even further, there's going to be a point to where it breaks or things just don't work or there's too much of something and it's just kind of redundant and useless at some point. Because when you start putting things like spray paint on guns, you're kind of missing the idea of what the game's about. It's not Call of Duty. It's not where you want to go in and get gun skins for your gun and spray paint it and make it look all nice. Nobody really cares about that. They want to survive off the land. They want, they want to play the game and then get really far, have all this fun stuff happen, log off and be able to come back to it. Maybe have a campsite, a tent, a vehicle, anything where they have something that they can 
agree that, yeah, I'm enjoying this game and I will have something to come back to, not I just walked down the road, spray painted my gun and got shot in the back of the head and now I have nothing. Now don't get me wrong, life is a valuable thing in DayZ, but it should not be punished to the point of you lose every single thing that you've been working on for the past six days because you got shot and you had nowhere to store your items. Okay, so what we covered today was Dean is leaving Daisy. Hopefully very soon because the game is in an abysmal state. I will not be playing it. A lot of people will not be playing it. A lot of people have not been playing it because it's completely unplayable. Now, I know a lot of you are going to disagree with that, but leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think because I really like the controversy that Daisy brings with it because it is one of those games that's either going to succeed in about three to four months from now when Dean leaves, hopefully. Hopefully sooner really hopefully sooner or it's going to be one of those games that just flops so let me know what you guys think is it going to flop is it going to succeed is dean leaving a good thing is dean leaving a bad thing let me know what you guys think and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did remember to leave a like comment favorite all that jazz and as always it's been fun and it's been me